What's up, everybody? It's what's up, everybody? Oh wow, that's that's really loud. Yeah, I'm looking at this and it's telling me I'm in red. What the heck? Oh wow, I I I'm, I'm gonna have to listen to this real quick. Anywho, all right. So, what's up, everybody? It's Artie Gaming here, and I am going to be telling you guys how to turn this sorry bunch of okay set up like i've been i'm gonna be honest i've been grinding battle of tunisia out because i haven't been playing at all that much and i haven't really done any specialization you know i just shove assaulters in here because mostly i've been working on a sniper video and i need a i had a sniper to, to that and I just keep these guys because I haven't maxed out their upgrade yet for personnel upgrade and workshop upgrade as soon as I get these two things knocked out I'm just gonna replace them with the party squad which I haven't even used yet and would be really helpful but I don't want to mess with those guys yet so yeah so now how to Turn your guys in your assaulter squad to help you grind better. And I'm not talking like, oh yeah, I just want to, you know, like this can take your assault squad that gets just mowed down, you know, and actually not mowed down, but like, you know how sometimes you just feel you're screwing up something and nothing's going, something's not going right. I'm gonna show you how to make it right. So, first thing that is the most obvious, make sure each of them has some kind of grenade. Generally, I kind of like, for my lead assaulter, I got the Molotov cocktail. And I know that's the basic setup and that it's a little cringeworthy. Um, the reason why I kind of like it, but I don't like it like it, is that it stays there really it's good for like throwing into a doorway and leaving it there for a hot second but people can avoid it so that's why I don't like it but I kind of like it the problem is that you can put out the fire relatively quickly and you will I, I never here's I'm gonna say this right now never use the sidearm slot for the assaulter I'm gonna tell you guys in another video where to use your pistols most effectively, what class to use. I will never tell you to use a heavy or an assaulter class of guy. Give them a pistol? Never, because they have the Sten as the Bayer minimum gun. And I never really deal with upgrading the guns. I could. You know, it, it, it looks like, you know, nice stats, I guess. Actually, some really nice stats, but then it's like, I'm probably never going to use shotguns ever. Uh, Thompsons are probably the best. I like the Lancaster. Lanchester. So that's why I like the German... Oh, so I'm pretty much always playing. Okay, so this is pretty much just a fake M28. But yeah, so generally I play with join any team just so I don't have to wait as long. So, first thing you're going to want to do, make sure they have the Sten or whatever machine gun you're going to have, Lanchester, Winchester Model 1912. This, if you ever have this gun in your main hotbar, no matter what, always have an M1903 for longer range. Anything where they aren't right in front of you or inside a building. Because it is a pain in the ass to be trying to snipe someone 100 meters away. Because it just doesn't do any damage. And you can see, tell immediately, the bullets go everywhere. And that's why the M1903 is so nice to just kind of have as your secondary weapon. There. I'm not going to mess with the knife. It's nice to have the axe. Generally, I like the knife. It looks good. Molotov, reason. I like the explosion pack. 
meh. You know, mines? I never really use mines. The exception is for the engineer squad. Because generally with those guys, I put it where... Actually, I'm going to say that for my engineer video because I want to get you guys to watch that stuff. And always make sure they have a med kit. This is like a basic, basic thing. You know? Okay. Next guy. I have not been doing him right. Like, yeah. You just put in the M1903, give him the explosion. I'm going to have to buy some stuff. But yeah, give him the explosion pack. Give him the med kit. Wait, we are out of med kits. Fuck. Okay. And that's also... So yeah, let me make sure everyone... Oh god, I'm going to need a lot of med kits. This is going to be expensive. But yeah. So always give your assaulters a longer range rifle. Why? Because... It, it's just a smart thing to do because you can kill people at a farther range. This generally helps me in most maps in Tunisia and Normandy. Really, all the campaigns, this is a guideline that I follow because it allows you to shoot farther, but if you're entering a building, it allows you to switch to the Sten which is a submachine gun, and also just go in there and shoot after, you know, throwing in the grenade if you're so inclined. And now perks. Generally, generally also, I don't like looking at that because sometimes it's like, it gives, it tells you the cheapest one while the best. That, that one's okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's telling me rec all his recommended perks. He only gets one, my guy. I like that because he just re they regenerate quicker. If you'll see, like 60% movement speed. Crawling is one of my favorite things. And it's really helpful. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, my melee guy, so this is a personal preference one. So yeah. Also, as you can tell, I'm not focusing on these guys. I'm focusing on these four. Mostly. But yeah. You see, 150% speed, generally from crawling to running. That way I can run inside. This. This one perk. If you see it, I don't care what else is available. <coughs> you do it. You do, I need some water. You you do this. You use it. Because if you're in an artillery strike in a building, you will get head shakiness. And the stun has zero accuracy. So it really helps because you recover quicker. This guy has jumped over freaking buildings. And that's because he just got a sucky perk. And I hate that you can't just get random people now and that you have to reuse people. Because I remember in all my other campaigns, I just have a butt ton of people. And now they actually make you go to the academy and... Uh... Or oh, I could just upgrade his rank. Yeah, you just upgrade their rank to get them bigger. So yeah, I'm going to make this guy really able to be strong. Yes. That'll do. Because yeah, generally I like to have this as kind of like my assaulter bay for like, when you get to high OT, you know, there's assaulters in the background and generally the assaulter squad gets replaced by the heavy machine gun squad because... They kind of do the same job, but, you know, it's a heavy machine gun and not a light machine gun. So unless you're in love with this squad, you get rid of it. And there's a lot of squads that are available. I'm not sure if I can... Yeah, there's a lot of squads. This one, I generally replace this here. 
This one I put here. These guys I keep around for like a day. Like I play with them for less than 25 hours. 24 hours, less than 24 hours. Uh, generally, I don't actually use bombers all that much. I never really like planes. I like tanks more because you can just like freaking die and then. Because generally, I actually don't get a lot of kills. Embarrassingly, the mortar I kind of like for a bit until yeah the sniper. Yeah, pretty much. There's another answer. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I shove the all these guys in and switch them out. So yeah, so that is how I train my infantry squad, or assaulter squad, until I get the heavy squad. And then I switch them out entirely, and pretty much, yeah, I'll save that for another video. But this is how you do it. You give each of them great perks that keep them alive. I, I guess melee weapon, but yeah. Stand machine gun or any machine gun, and I just use the basic rifle until you get like to high tier. Then you can like use a high tier as your main, and then a low tier is kind of like your entryway to buildings. But yeah. So thanks for watching today's video, guys. Sorry for my rants. And I will see you guys in the next one because this was a high quality video. Wait, I'm not supposed to click, click that.